Okay, in this video, I'm just going to sum up, like I said, I go by Holy Ghost Writer, and I'm just going to be summing up some of the songs that people ask me questions about. Um, the, well, mainly, <laughs> out of all of them, it was ICU. ICU was the main one, like, what does that mean? Well, what about this part? And you know how it is, because of the way that I look and stuff, and making a song like that, and especially the visual, if you haven't seen it yet, like I said, I'm going to clip. They really had to break stuff down. Like, there was a lot of questions there. Yeah, and then, um, so there's also Get to Know Me, and then there's a Vital, and then there's the Mama Julie song, and then, yeah, we're good. Okay, finally, I'm just gonna get to this poem and try to sum this up. Hold on. Behavior alteration tests don't need to be taken to these harsh extremities. Man trying to do God's critical job will only result in some more enemies. The balance between love and discipline already has a supernatural scale. These measurements require figurative bail, something beyond a piece of paper or male, female, freedom or jail, truth over tale, you seek he'll tell. Love is better displayed through good works and rewarded accordingly. Your salvation won't be judged when you already say You don't have to be no slave, no maid, no trade True love won't switch sides, it unites Our code stays alive Even through the struggle we bounce back then thrive We don't need your unethical test for significant success An abundant existence of good morals and happiness is blessed In other words, I accept A life of less stress Full of love and gradual progress If life is a test, then I'm sorry I once left then you turn me right Kindness was something I just could not fight It may not have been love at first sight, yo But that computer made you my type Love is the main factor I still write So I'll break that down But uh, just to keep it in short To me, like, it, there's not really a anatomical sex or a gender that kind of like says what love is it's not a male it's not a female expressing love to me it's like i said it's an action somebody that treats you with respect with kindness and um somebody that goes out of their way for you and that expresses love like i said in in just many forms and um to me it, it's not i know it's a big old thing of like the saying the she and the he and then he'll he'll step in for you he'll come in for you because for the, the most part of my life, it's been more females that intervened for me and helped me out, you know, through tough times. And not only that, like, you know, everybody's different. So to me, love could be, it doesn't be have to be a man, and, a man or a woman. That's how I've, I've always felt. You know, everybody has their own different acronym beliefs, religious beliefs, political beliefs, and um, faction beliefs, group beliefs, crew beliefs. But for me, love is, is, is an action. Pretty much, it's action, and it's not only that. It can be words as well. The way you talk to somebody, the way you treat somebody, you know. But in in respect, kindness, and love. So, and then um, display to an ethical test. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, a lot of the stuff, like derived from my dreams and stuff, just seeing all kinds of things being taken to harsh extremities. You know, like I have like some really strange. <laughs> some really strange dreams and stuff and the things that I witness and see even on videos you know whether it be through social media I'm talking like you know Instagram Facebook you see all this fighting this arguing um pe these riots and um people starting something like an activist events and it getting you know turned around all the way and it, you know turned it to something that it was never meant to be in the first place same things for you know it's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff like that like the way games were first started you know, it was supposed to be a way to just keep your community safe and your loved ones safe and just a way of, you know, um, it was a bond. And um, just a lot of things just taken too far to be extreme. The whole, like I said, the vengeance seeking, the back and forth, you know, people coming after you, 
and um, Pinkerton Bell. Uh, something on a piece of paper. Freedom of Chad Siegel, which I love is better displayed through the works in order. Like I said, love is better displayed through the works in order. Accordingly, the way you are, what you put on, see the universe is usually what you get back. The what you pray for, um, the way you pray for other people, the way you help out other people usually comes back back to you. You know, you, that's not why you do it, but you know, in reality, when you're a good person, good things are more likely to happen to you. It's just like regardless of what what you believe in that's just the way it is you go around smacking people all the time like you're gonna eventually get smacked back you go around spreading love speaking life and wisdom and into people like it's gonna come back to you that's just the way it is you'll see that but you, you know god will bring better people into your life and into your existence when you are what you attract when you become a i i know this with me like our close days of life even through the struggle we bounce back and thrive even regardless of how hard things get you know, you could always bounce back from your situation. You know, there's times where I was really down, but, you know, when I, I realize now when I really want something, whether it be a tangible thing or, you know, something with greater significance, you know, a house with better morals, uh, you know, because like I said, there's times where I stayed in different houses, rented rooms, and there's people, and no matter where I went, there's either somebody drinking, either somebody smoking, either somebody living a lifestyle I didn't want to be in, so I decided I wanted to start my own stuff. And regardless how down I was, like, you know, I, always, I made a lot of sacrifices to get the things that I want because it means that much to me you know that being that activist you know that activist house and you know trying to turn things around regardless of how how hard things get an abundant existence of morals and happiness is blessed to me no matter what you go out of you go after something you know your goals your dreams your whatever that it is that moves you with good intentions god will bless it and it will happen it won't happen always in your timing but it will happen you know in in the right timing for you and um kindness was something i just could not fight no matter how far you try to stray away from um people that have tr treated you right you know like by whether it be a miss um whether you're misinterpreted or whether like even for me like there's people that like you know heard things about me and left for a while and then real life once they found out the real true truth you know that uh, that it was a lie or a rumor. You know they usually come back when some when you treat somebody with kindness. You can't stay away from from them too long. It's only a matter of time till the truth comes out. No matter how many things people make up about you, like I said, you stay true to yourself and don't let people like get you down. After a while, you won't even uh, anything that people say about you. It doesn't get to you as much. You know, it's one thing if you're you're saying you're one person and then you're going out into the world and being opposite or you're you're behind your doors being a, a horrible being. You know, when you're out there trying to display something different, you know, that's, if, if you hear rumors then, it'll tear you up. You can't do stuff with confidence with your head held high. You can't go after your goals and dreams. It's not the same no more. But when you're true to yourself, when you really are who you display you are, and you really go out and walk it, the way, and by figuratively speaking, a lot of the words that I use, the lyrics that I speak on, it's figure, it's usually a figure of speech. I usually, I usually put figuratively speaking, you know figuratively speaking or like some people would like metaphorically speaking but a metaphor is a part of a figure of speech figure of speech so i kind of speak like that metaphorically sometimes not everything's meant to be literal although some things are <laughs> although some things are not all things that i say are meant to be like literal so and abundance is like unethical test uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah so when you go after something with good intent the things will come back it'll be blessed and pretty much that's how i could sum up this there's a lot of this i'm trying to learn how to sum up things so once again this whole song was just about like love in various forms different ways let's try to make it more general whether like i said i don't know if i'm gonna cut in the beginning or not but oh well i'm gonna say this anyway like i said whether it's a relationship with your family through friends significant other seeing beyond somebody's just external behavior looking more into the depths of their cores and their values getting to know somebody uh, a little further than your first time experience with them getting to know about their past experiences how they became who they are now today who they lived with who were they raised by who are you know you know there's other things you got to think about when you just see somebody acting out farther than just their external behavior or their external attributes or the physical attributes or the way that they dress the way they are you know you got to let somebody you got to get to know somebody's character you can't be stereotypical you can't be judgmental and i'm summing it up now this is really hard for me to do because <laughs> y'all know i'm kind of kind of the philosophical speaker talker and i go on talking tangents like no other but 
I think a lot of us do. I say a lot of things out of my mouth that a lot of people think about and don't really want to say because they're embarrassed. But that's just me, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, like I said, and in the end, love is the main factor I still write. My, love really is the main factor I still write. And I actually write about, you know, like just social injustices in general. I just try to write about stuff like that. Things that I see that bother me. I don't want to be one of those people like, oh, that bothers me, that bothers me. I never do something about it. Like even, yeah, I'll speak about like even the vital song too. So let me stop it right here. Click, click, click. And then I'll go to vital. And then I think I'm going to do vital part of Mama Julie and then get to know me as well. So, yeah, okay, new song, new hair, new style, I'm about to be switching it up because apparently, I don't know, it keeps people tuned more or something like that. <laughs> and my arms, they've been hiding all winter, I'm still clipping that out maybe, okay, so oh, the next song is Vital, so. that I was in like way in the past and then kind of like you know I could relate to different type of situations more currently but um you had admirable attributes so like I said once again it's more figuratively speaking more you know more than just literally literally I don't want you know you had admirable attributes free fall with a parachute you don't mean go jump you know jump off a cliff or jump off a plane with a parachute like what it really means is kind of like love is it's free it's exciting free fall with a parachute it's, it's like you're, you're on the edge but not over the edge it's free it's it, it's exciting and sometimes when you don't know how to do it the right way it's not as successful and um just like you have to kind of like you know you gotta like once again like you gotta learn how to love yourself and you have to learn how to be someone you would love before you could try to be in a relationship with someone to make it work you have to find out like what where your moral standards where your moral standards are and if they align with your significant other because when they don't there's a lot of conflict and like I said incompatibility incompatibilities incompatibility and stuff like that but like for me I just wrote all that kind of stuff and then towards the end I talk about I've been studying seeking advice now I know whose love will truly suffice um of course my tithe is for a godly wife so for me it's to me it's like you gotta invest kind of like not only in yourself but the people that you love whether it be it doesn't have to just be money or currency it could be time and the way you're affectionate the way you express that you care about them in more ways than just one you know and to me like i got to the point where like i stopped like um trying to seek that kind of love 
Like, to me, I, I had to get closer to God. And not only that, I had to, like, find out, like, what, what my true beliefs were. Because there's this point where you go to church for a long time and you're around, like, you know, you're going more towards the religious way. And then, you know, like me, like, I work, you know, for certain com you know, different type of companies where there's a lot of people in that environment that don't really believe in reg religion and I don't really, you know, go to, I don't work with around people that are really <laughs> religious and stuff like that. So I got, I went through this battle where I'm like, dude, I need to like figure this out because there's these moments where I like, I almost lose faith a little bit. I think like anybody that goes to church or any believer or anybody that's just like, you know, there's this point where you're like trying to figure out like, do I really, is this the, the really the right group for me? Is this the right faction for me? Is this the right acronym for me? Because I feel like no matter what group you're in, you're, you always have this one little conflict in your, your, where you're unsure. There's this point in your life. And to me, it's like, um, just investing time into yourself, praying more, asking God for more guidance, asking the spirit to lead you more down a better path. And like I said, there's points where I'm like, I don't believe in this no more. I don't want to deal with this no more. And then God will give me a dream where I'm like, oh, that's the path. I don't want to go down though the other path because, you know, it's just too far beyond what I could ever try to fit into. I can't fit into that. <laughs> there's not a way. Well, not that I know of. So to me, like, um, investing in myself I, I i found that i was always tithing my 10 percent into the the group or the ministry that i believe in i still to this day so I, I felt like if i'm investing that in them i could match it with myself and go after the goals the kind of house and if i feel like i don't really fit in some group or some acronym or thing why not start something of my own where it's a little more um more broad it reaches more of a broader type of audience but still um, it's, it's more of a positive environment and that's what I kind of do already when I go out to parties and stuff You guys see me walking around with a bottle like and stuff like that. And it's like <laughs> It's apple cider. I want people to know that just because you live your life in a different way You can still go out and have fun Like I said once again, you could be in the world but not of the world You can still go out and do things with people even sometimes people that maybe they live a little differently But they're kind of you know slowly converting and changing their ways like you can still be around it and not, you know, you don't have to freaking uh, participate in everything. Like, I can go out there. I love to dance. So, no matter where I'm at, whether I'm in a church environment, where I'm at, out in the club, where, whether I'm working out in my gym, where I'm at, I love to dance. I love to do things with music. I like to interact with good people. I'm way more social when I'm around, you know, people with good vibes. Like, this is my step. What does it say? Good vibes only. I don't know where it's at. I can't see if it looks backwards on here. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, so like I said, uh, I had to step away from those type of relationships. I'm not even looking for stuff like that anymore. I'm more focused on, like I said, you, I know you guys, you guys see a lot of my posts where I haven't been able to post new music because I've been taking a class with uh, my learning professional driving skill and getting certified and getting all the qualifications, all that stuff done. I'm almost finished with all that. And then I'll be learning my next thing. I'll be going back to school. You know, working on the whole, you know, I want to be more musically inclined. Everything that I learned now is all self-taught. So, like I said, a lot of this is just, like, raw work. Um, I haven't went to, um, <laughs> I haven't, um, you know, I start my classes um, for that. Then my next school, I'm in school right now to get a per one of my, a different professional school in driving and stuff. And my next school, I'll be going, um, you know, to university for to get more musically inclined, learn an instrument. I'll be learning the piano, learning all that kind of stuff. So investing more time, money, energy into myself, the goals that I want, getting my own house. I want a family in the future. You got to learn how to do stuff the right way. Figure out what your core values are, what morals, how you want your house to be, what you want your kids to be around. You want to be that example. Like to me, like that's what I'm really focusing on, the way that I live, the way that I am. The way that I do things, I know when I bring my child into the house, I don't want them to see, you know, anything, anything to do with that could possibly send them down a direction of like them having addictions and, you know, them having all kinds of temptation. Like, I don't want no alcohol. I don't want no cigarettes. I don't want no weed. I don't want nothing like that. I don't want those kind of smells. I don't want no kind of, you know, sick behavior in my house. So, like, I would want to, you know, get that stuff right. So, before you could connect with somebody and be real with somebody like on that kind of level like that's kind of like out of my head now like I'm kind of like enjoying just finding myself and going after my goals and stuff but that's what this this whole song is the whole vital thing in the past when you don't know how to do something when you never were around a, an environment where you knew how to, to love somebody the right way 
and then kind of like finding your way and whether it be reading your word I listen to different like doctors different pastors ministers um, different people like you know with their master's degree I watch all kinds of videos and try to learn and um, just become a better person and that's all that's for the vital one I didn't even know that part was gonna come on yeah. <laughs> Can't stay idle Gotta ride through How could someone seem so vital to survival? That's what I thought until I just opened them